back, he and Thomas hating the front, had to fall back, had to polish the meeting, peep the eye in that, that front and it's funny, been six bars, I'm early, early, wrap them guns and clips like you Blake Griff on the block, I'm Sterling, her with pitch grip, you gotta get that poison and mess up your head, that Ivy blue, he who don't know what rap, I'm about to put back on the map, my time be clue, rebirth from rhyme from time, you thought three died, divided nine from you wagons, I thought I would ride, I am I, so why would I be you, tiger eye, lion heart, they say to the eyes of eyes, to your career's demise, thought you was about this life of high, your pride supplied the news and I, hanging lies outside the booth and watch his eyes supply the truth, DBLK, it's time for growth, my black dog supplied the roots and y'all ain't ready, look, try and let a nigga know, I put my feet over the mark, nigga, he ain't even know, y'all niggas better get ready, y'all niggas better get ready, Hold up, I told ya. I in the front, H in the back, back at it again. Just follow my fly on my incline against the wind. Watch me redefine what is I again. This life of flat to tigers, but I was born in survival of tiger. And nothing is stopping the drive in the lane that I'm in. Take off. Kick it tell me to kill us to blame her. Ready, counting the body from the liver from murder. I'm about to put up on them. Never heard of the illa word of the verbal slaughter. Snap, about to put this rapping back in order. Back to forward, classic on ya. And I call why you heat. Whenever it's time for that action, we catching them acting. I do what happened. You live with you rapping? Or nah. Got an appetite for your type. A bad to rap that day. Classic. I'm a rapper, the MC fights, I'm nice with ease, but the art only thing on your mind is cheese. Go ahead, play tack, or whatever you ask, and we'll have to come after the lyrical airplane you left in. Wrecking your mess, a measure of plethora. Go cab alone, you rail, whatever scheme you thought would sell. Take away money, guns, the drugs, the girls, the cars, and give me bars. I'm here to raise the bar, people thinking your name is plain. Talking, raising cool groups, and raising AKs, you nothing but raising K's. Look, try to let it now. Y'all better get ready. What? Hey. What? Hold up, Carly in the air. Hey. We are back in effect. This is Carly in the radio. I am Mary J B. And I'm Kiki with the E. And it is me and Miss Hot Spot. We are in the building today. We have a special guest. It feels like we've been going for so long. It really it's only been a week, but it feels like two for me. Three. Yeah, you've yeah, been, you been, you been, been on vacation yeah, for real. I seen Mary in rehearsal like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a special guest. Yes, yes, yes. Don't be shaking your head. I have, wait, 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 wait. I have to get us. a drum roll for this gentleman. Hold on. And a little tingling in the middle. Hey! Mr. Ain't that little now. I hate him. He fired already. We didn't even start yet. Mr. L. Bernard Washington yes, yes. is in the building. The crowd goes wild. <laughs> Woo! We have a legend here. I'm telling I'm, I don't know what y'all talking about, but this man right here is like one of the dopest. With the camera? When yes. it comes to lighting, editing, and capturing angle. the right angle. Moment. Listen. And if you ain't know, you better check out my page because I just posted that we are live and I posted some photos that this man had photographied for us. <laughs> <laughs> listen, if on I some real talk, I've been following him for like... Like, baby, listen, that speaks for itself right there. Oh, yeah. Insane. I'm not going to lie. I was super excited when she was like, I got El Bernard Washington. I'm like, oh. You gotta be kidding me, because I've literally been following you on Facebook for probably about five, six years. Maybe four. Really? Yeah. That's how my stalker status to me. No, because I'm through a photography group, because I had tried to take a photography in college, and when I decided to go back and People build stalk, more student loans. And too. They want that good thing. Yeah. <laughs> so... I was connecting and, you know, with, networking with other photographers just to kind of study and see how they're capturing and see if I can try and mimic. I wasn't that good at it. But, you know, but I loved your work. Thank you. So you're the one that's been leaving the place of food outside my back door at night. Nah, nah, that wasn't me. I was there. Don't forget to talk to me. Nah, that sound like some. I don't do anything uh, with photos. You hear me? Rabbit, rabbit, and shit. Like we don't nah. do that here, Carly. Nah. Nah. No, no, no. Son, we build no. friendships. Yeah, yes. yeah. We 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 like to keep bonds. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I want I people to not be afraid when I hit them up. Yeah. <laughs> like, be like, no, nah, I ain't messing with you. No, that's not me. <laughs> that wasn't me. That was me. I ain't and like then we that. are pretty unforgettable too, so you know yeah. whoever we touch, they. Really I try to leave a smile every once in a while. Thank you, thank you. 
And if y'all ain't seen Kiki's legs, look at the photos. Listen, he loves Listen, your calves. Linda. He loves your calves now, girl. Mm-hmm. I'll be working at. I'll be at my desk. My desk rises, so I'll be standing there working, doing calf raises. <laughs> I'm I'm obsessed with little stuff like that. I see. I walk hey, on my little stuff like that makes a difference to hey, help my calves. So that's I've been walking on my tippy toes all my life. So. Yeah, you are, you got some yeah. nice calves today. Look pretty strong. Well, you're a walking curb with a swag. So. Hey. hey, I like that one. I'm, My I'm daddy used to try to make me do calf raises, but I was hard headed. So. Okay, listen, Mister Washington, I need you to introduce yourself to these people. We, yes, we've been, yes. we've been gassing you up, but I need you to tell us all about you. How long you, you been, been doing it? How long you been doing this photography all of that. business? All right. Where you from? Let me see. Where am I from? Where am I from? My mama. I know that's right. Me too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful woman she is. Love. Um, I love black people. (laughs) You know, I fall right in line. (laughs) Okay, like hey. (laughs) No, um, I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. Grew up on the east side, right out there, basically Borough area. Uh, Photography. Been messing around with it since I was about eight years old. Walked away from it for a couple decades. Um, Decades. Yeah, picked the camera back up because um, I had to go shoot a friend's bodybuilding show. Mm. Her brother couldn't do it, so she handed me the camera. And they looked at it and was like, oh, you need to go back into this. So I just picked it up and started doing it again. Um, like to shoot dance. Love anything with the human body. It's a beautiful thing. Mm. Okay. Um, just like capturing right with light, showing an emotion, telling a story with a picture, that kind of thing. So let me see. Right now I am 54. I'll be 55 in December. So since I was eight, it's been a minute. Wow. It's been a minute. So um, kind of impressed with the new technology that they have in photography now. Like a lot of the older stuff because it forces you to think. You don't. You're not allowed to get away with and make a lot of mistakes that you can get. And then you take a thousand pictures, you get 50 that are good. And so now all of a sudden you're a photographer. Because you know, mm. any one of y'all, I've seen the selfies, y'all. I'm not to knock any of my photo friends out there, but some of y'all selfies, I would hire <laughs> y'all with y'all cell phones before I'd hire half of them. Wow. <laughs> so, right. And that's I believe it. Real. That's just yeah, real. sure it is. Ain't no wow. I believe it. Mm-hmm. So, um, but you know, in a nutshell, that's all it is. is um, that's a little bit about me. Oh, Del Bernard's Les Bernard Washington. Um, so, and I have my assistant back there in the background, looking lovely on the wall, Asia. No. Hey, Asia. Hey. hey. That's my book. Let me tell you about this one. <laughs> okay. I love that you have an assistant. Okay. For one, not just because she helps you, but she's also helpful to your your clients. True. You know, right. and she sure. keeps you in order because baby, listen, I can't deal. So mm. I like mm. being able, mm. I like to be able to be Asia and be like, hey, what's going on? Like I, I need this day, this day. She's like, I got you. So it's like I I love I love her personality. I love that she helps you. She's very y'all are a good team. Like Y'all keep the photo. Y'all keep the photo shoot going. Like y'all definitely make me laugh. I like I like to have fun when I do a photo shoot, and I like to feel like whoever I'm working with, we have a developed uh, connection because then it makes you feel like the outcome of your picture is going to be, you know, like they get you, they understand where you're coming from and what you really want. Some people just take a picture and really don't know you. Don't. Well, yeah, I feel like that's with any artist. You have to have some type of connection to actually get the right full picture. Yeah, that's the whole thing behind photography, though. If you take the time to engage the person instead of just shooting. And then the thing I've been learning about, especially you, Kiki and Mary, um, you have two strong personalities, but you've got very good sense of humor. Okay. And it's easy to work with somebody like that because if you can engage that person, they can engage you back. You'll get a lot more vibrant picture that's a lot more alive. Mm-hmm. And it shows the emotion on that person. It shows um, shows a lot more than just pretty curves. Okay. Right. Yeah. 
Baby Lesson. I agree. Because there'd be some pretty curves, but the faces be all jacked up. I must say. The editing be all jacked up. And I was like, see, this is why. Because I saw you in a group maybe about a year ago. And I was like, man, I love his edits. Like, it's mm-hmm. all, to me, it's about the edit. It's about the angle, the lighting, and the final edit. And okay? the background. Because. And when I finally right. got to work with you Listen, and saw that in. your raw picture <laughs> was just as good without the edit. See, that's the kind of like, that I like. That's why, I, I, yeah. I, I, I don't care what you say. You're going to be locked in. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay? <laughs> so, I, I'm not you playing know. with you, Mr. Hey, Washington. Hey, you're you're not not <laughs> aware. <laughs> so, it's like, when I when I get when you get a picture and you be like okay all I really need is just the little enhancing of the lighting that's it everything else is on point like I don't want you to change nothing else I don't need no See, extra See to me that's in. how it's supposed to be that's why that's why I kept pushing like find somebody else find somebody else find somebody else find because there's for me I. Like you said, you like the odor, even though technology is great, mm-hmm. it was something beautiful about photography prior to technology mm-hmm. where you had to be able to, there was not that much editing. There was not that much filtering. Mm-hmm. You had to be able to capture that and get the lighting right, right, right timing, right angle, and hit it, and it looked good because mm-hmm. you ain't going to get much room to edit. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And then I also like about him as well as other photographers that do but a lot don't Mm -hmm. they work with you like they know what to look for in that picture they have you angle a certain type of way they Mm -hmm. they they give suggestions you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. and i'll be needing that oh yeah we all do i know i do for sure look that's my that's my posing director right there okay (laughs) i like to be able to work with somebody that i can actually they don't feel like you're stepping on their toes because i say i want to look at it like to me looking at the picture especially if it's something that i want to put out i want to be able to correct myself Mm -hmm. or change things with the people that i'm taking pictures for because in my look what i'm looking at it looks nice, mm-hmm. but on the lens, because of where he's standing or where he, the lighting is that he has set up, if it's not connecting, I want to be like, oh, can we look, can I look at what you're doing so I can know, okay, I don't like that. Let me, maybe if I yeah, tilt my head this lot. way, baby, yeah, listen. I'm going to start wearing a GoPro on my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Because Mary will be all over it, you hear me? Okay, like, nah, bro. I, I, just, I, I don't even come look at the picture no more. I just let her do it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely. So one, I'm not gonna fit my head in there to be able to see the little bitty ass screen <laughs> to try to see what the pictures look like. Cause see all of her and the photographer, all like, I can't even get it. I'm just gonna just trust the movement. I'm just gonna trust the process. Listen, listen. and I always come through, don't I? I like yeah. it. I like yeah. it. I like it. See now the test now the test with Mary was uh first time I had to shoot her, it was like ninety four degrees outside. Mm, you had so. on a yes, that was denim a outfit with a denim skirt. And wow. The images came out great. They, they did. didn't need edited. Matter of fact, they weren't edited. edited. Oh. They weren't. Yeah. Like he was able to do the lighting where it looked like we was outside in the dark. Mm-hmm. I, I can tell like, when you posted, I was like, Oh yeah, see. That's I knew there was like, no filtering on that photo. <laughs> like that's no. a raw shot. Raw. Raw. Mm-hmm. But just you know, then you got like, natural beauty oh. on top of it. <laughs> yeah. It just makes it even more makes easier. easier. See why you're already on the Christmas list. You, you know, you see uh, <laughs> this is why they're my best friends. You know, this <laughs> is why we get along so much. You know what I'm saying? So I have a couple questions for Go you. Go for it. Go for it. When it comes to this photography lane. And models, because I feel like that relationship needs to flourish more. And I feel like we need to, models need to understand what photographers are looking for when it comes to professionalism. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted to get it from a photographer standpoint. (coughs) What can us as models do to better connect with our photographers and make sure that we are giving good professional Persona to a photographer. That's a good you want to mm-hmm. keep. Couple you want to keep a good. Here's your moment. Couple that is things. Nice. I'm gonna keep it real. Please do. Number one thing. <laughs> keep your clothes on. Mm. Okay. Unless it's, unless it's an artistic shoot, keep your clothes on. Um, 
gotcha. respect respect what God gave you. You don't need to yeah. share it with everybody. Um, yeah, that seems to be a big problem with a few photographers and a few models. Hmm. Um, I can only imagine. Hmm. Yeah, not with that one. She aren't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm gonna pull you out from under that bus, okay? <laughs> no, okay. That ain't the bus. That's security back there. I know. Oh yeah, yeah, that part. <laughs> Listen, um, take the time to talk to the people, um, let the photographer know what you want, you know, and what you're looking for. Uh, don't be afraid to try new things. And also, whatever lines you have, draw them early on. You know, there's certain things that I see girls doing and guys like you know certain things like shooting on the outside of balconies on the edge of the high walls of buildings anything that's going to endanger your life you don't do it um railroad tracks definite no no you know you had a young lady killed a couple years ago because her leg got stuck up under the railroad track and she couldn't get out in time photographer had her on a track she couldn't pull out in time and train killed her mm, okay because so, i did the one not too long ago a little mini one yeah, I saw it. I saw it. And I, uh, saw it. See, I had on tennis shoes. Trust me, it was a thought out process. Yeah, I would have Before I even. See, I already had. I'm already, you know, from New York, I'm I already stepping. had a natural tear for trains. Negative. I was stepping. I was okay. telling you, I was really He told me I mean, that before we even took our picture. He was like, I'm going to shoot you in front of the train tracks, but not on right. the train tracks. <laughs> Yeah. Because anything can happen. Uh -huh. Like anything can happen. Like you a train to go by and a, a rock come up and hit you in your head. Then True. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. anything, anything can happen by them train tracks. So I definitely get even when we was taking our bitch, you was like, I do got insurance, but don't make me use my insurance. <laughs> Listen, that's right. Like that's and and I was like, Wow, I ain't never heard a photographer say they had insurance. Well, yeah, that's another thing too. Um it's fun to do all these shoots with everybody because we have a lot of talented individuals. Creativity is not synonymous to one person or a certain type of person. Um, creatives are quirky and they come in all shapes, sizes, and colors and nationalities. And um, you can go ahead and shoot with someone, but if you're doing it like in a studio setting, make sure someone knows you're there, especially if you're female. Um, bring a friend with you um engage the photographer listen carefully to what you have to do um like i said the danger zone stay out of that um come up with ideas concepts stuff like that because the two you may mesh and you may change some things that's what i love about you because you like freaking stephen hawking when it comes to concepts <laughs> I mean, because I got one that I just, what do you think about the last oh, one I told baby, you about? Baby, listen, I'm I'm all thinking about that. I sure yeah. am. I'm getting a list of ladies together. You think Misha, I'm we playing? ain't got to think. We just, just listen, I'm there. waiting on like three that I already oh, no, to her, so, oh, yeah. one, one of them is what he's talking about. Yeah, so. Oh, okay. All, all the curb linears in there because um, I ran it by her at the practice the other day. And because um, on the one, I'll be one of the models. Mm. So, um, don't have, um, uh -huh. yeah, I'll stick the old guy back in the back there. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, when it, you don't understand, we be at our random middle of the night between me and her. We be messing each other. Yeah, what you do? I have a random just thought. It just comes from out of nowhere. I'll be like, hey. Keep a notebook on the side of your bed or the pen. Oh, so yeah. in the middle of the night, if you're sitting there watching TV, you get an idea to jot it down. Right. We ain't got to go back to the chat and try to right. scroll for days to see what the heck we just <laughs> I do. That's what I do. I just send it to her. All them days. For some kids. reason, I know she's going to stick a pen in it somewhere. She's going to remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, hey, I do. Here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, the, and the thing about photography, as far as the photographers are concerned, mm -hmm. anybody that's starting out, don't be afraid to try new things. Always train. You, got, you have rules. Learn how to break the rules. There's certain things that work that are cut and tried and true, but once you get to that point, get outside that box and learn how to do other little things. You know, mm -hmm. just just try whatever. If you want to, you see something and you want to try it, just do it. Mm -hmm. Find you somebody and just go do it. Oh, what I was trying to say before about shooting with just anybody, you said about the insurance. Um, I care about the people I shoot with, whether it's a TFP shoot or whether it's a paid client. Because when you're in front of the camera, you're my responsibility. So if you get hurt on my watch, I'm responsible for that. So my goal is to make sure you're not hurt, but 
things happen. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I carry like two different types of liability insurance. So if I'm backing you up and you trip over a rock, God forbid you twist your ankle or you get a cut or something like that, it's covered. Mm -hmm. You know, um, where you're on the property and we're doing a shoot, something gets stolen or whatever, we got stuff to cover all of that. So it's just a matter of keeping it professional like that. You know, you kind of watch the in your windows when you're out there, because usually when any windows start flying back and forth between photographer and model, somebody trying to, that becomes a hookup session. Mm. And you don't want to do that um, because it will come back to bite you later. Mm -hmm. You know, so be respectful, um, you know, the other thing is with sessions, no alcohol. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a couple reasons for that. Wait, that's, people do that? Yeah. That's because they have a thing with inhibitions. Plus, if you drink before you were getting a shoot done, it causes your skin to flush. And you get a redder tone to it. I would say, have, yeah, I turn red. Yeah, we, we have enough melanin in our skin that we don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're using a strobe. And what will happen, the strobe will see through the makeup and will reflect that red back into the camera. Mm. And so... um yeah. Just sitting there looking like the end of a matchstick. No, you I end up you. looking like a little sexy what? devil. I can do that now. Mm, don't give me no ideas now. See? Now, see? I just had an idea to me. You done? I'm going to write it down. You said you wanted to get into photography. Why didn't you pursue it? Well, one, I was taking it through going to college, and then I had to drop out because I just couldn't afford it anymore. Okay. So I never kept going. <laughs> I just. So you really have to go to college for photography? No. Uh, well, the thing they got, they got all these courses. They go to teach photographers um, for lighting and stuff like that. You can take training seminars and learn the lighting and learn all the basics mm -hmm. and then just get somebody and shoot. Um, just shoot, 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 because you're going to learn through trial and error because nothing is cut and dry. Everything changes. Light changes throughout the day. And your images are going to change. So you learn that as if you learn that there's variables. And um, the only thing that a photographer should be taught is business because mm -hmm. that's why we all fail. Because the great photographers, they just can't go forward in business because they don't have a basic knowledge of business. Mm -hmm. And they won't do certain things like get the insurance, like pay taxes on a regular basis, like file those taxes. Right. They keep, they keep people off their back. You know, especially, and then the other thing is, is getting like, especially our black owned businesses, we're very bad about supporting each other. Mm, this is so, true. Um, we will, we will holler at somebody on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. Oh man, that's a dope image. I love that. You know, I'm going to shoot with you sometime. Once I slide you my price list, mm -hmm. I don't hear from you no more. Even if I get you to hook up and I'm not, and if i um, say like for a wedding, for example, um, just off the top of your four hour wedding, four to six hour wedding. How mm -hmm. much do you think the average is to shoot a wedding? For a professional photographer, I would expect to spend at least four to six hours. I would expect to spend at least two, two to three thousand, depending on the photographer. Mm -hmm. On the low end. That's no, that's no. On the low end. Yeah. yeah. On the low end, now, if I just, want quality, uh, yeah, I'm going to spend about. Oh, you still, you still get quality. You're just saying getting, you're just not going to get the album. Mm, no mm. engagement shoot. Yeah, no. Um, your time is limited mm -hmm. um, for the photographer because weddings don't go four to six hours. Right. Weddings go like five mm -hmm. to ten. Right. Because that's they got the background. You know, the, the behind the scenes, the actual. Well, event. yeah. Now all day <laughs> photographer. Yeah, I'm looking to spend ballpark around because I I did go searching for wedding photographers, you being one of them. <laughs> and I went to the website and I knew I was like, yeah, that, I can't afford that one. So. But, then, <laughs> but if I wanted come, to. If, if you I had it, I would have paid it, no problem. But. but you come to the photographer and you kind of state your case because. It's the only thing. If we do hook you up, we ask that you don't tell anybody what we did it for. You know, and that only makes sense. Like, why I don't never tell nobody. I'll be like, "Just go to that website. Her. Tell them I sent you." Uh, <laughs> okay. we do it. We get, we That's about as good as you're gonna get with me. <laughs> we get the hook up. We go out and we tell like, ten on, other people. We'll check you there and, 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 and <laughs> next thing you know brother mad at you because you know you done told all your friends and told everybody so now they expect in this price right and the reason everything is priced at what people see or seemingly think is high is because on the wedding end you're paying for a retoucher mm -hmm. because on that end 
at like when you're getting up in that in that price range, like you're getting thousands of dollars and above, getting up to ten thousand range and all that. Mm -hmm. I'm not touching those images. There's a professional retoucher on there that does this consistently, mm -hmm. that knows more than I ever will about it. And they'll sit there and they'll retouch the images and they'll look like they belong in an art gallery by the time they get through with them. Mm -hmm. And they'll do it in a matter of a couple minutes. Yeah, for wedding photos, yeah. 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 And uh, you've got all kinds of things. you got glass albums. you got all kinds of stuff. Then you got to think about the insurance and liability that comes with that photographer to cover your wedding. And if you want a true workout, you think going to the gym is hard? Mm -hmm. Try shooting a wedding. Oh, I can only imagine. Yeah, you feel like... Thank God I did have a photographer, but he was an upcoming photographer, so he just, you know... Listen. Oh, you gave him some, He has some decent shots. You gave him some red Kool-Aid and some pork chops. I got it. <laughs> we going to sit in the hall. I'm going to play a song. <laughs> hey. And then I got some more questions for Mr. I Washington. I can't with y'all. I'm trying to be nice till 9 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you be nice? I can't. Well, Hold up, I sold ya. I in the front, H in the back, back at it again. Just follow my fly on my incline against the wind. Watch me redefine what is I in here. For flat to tigers, but I was born in survival a tiger, and nothing is stopping the drive in the lane that I'm in. Take off. Diggy Del told me to kill us, so blame her. Ready counting the body from the lyrical murder. I'm about to put up on them, never heard of the ill word or the verb was wrong. I'm about to put this rap in back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You get nothing. You lose. Good day. Good day. Okay. Who is this? It's in the sense we came to handle our business. And when I grab a microphone, I'm getting tremendous. The flow's suspended, rappers getting offended. They say we're so amazing, we're the Avengers. Ignoring all the haters, but we love their attention. Crossing the wrong path, we're a race of existence. If rap was high school, we'd probably be in detention. Because the way we like to rip a showdown. Rappers won the battle, it could go down. Turn our lips off. We represent three more the new Motown. And when they say, say, just can you please just slow down? But like home with the clown dog, I really don't play that. These are kind of statements that you make and never take back. We got a lot of talking to your face, you won't have a man. You came to roll, I'm on my grind, you lose the control, I'm knowing it's time, it ain't in your soul, you cross the line, guaranteed you won't have a double You came to roll, I'm on my grind, you lose the control, I'm knowing it's time, it ain't in your soul, you play the game time, now you sorry, but you lose. Know. Need I say more? Punch lines, open up to rip your face off. Blood, sweat, and tears, that's my decor. I take it back to 86, like, yes, yes, y'all. Yes, yes, all. Me, y'all, and all. The best yet to come, so hold your applause. Panel was made of mine. Flesh served raw, need a drink, so hold you can scrape off the floor. I've been with a fleet full of achievers. Standing testament to all you non believers. You want to need more ammo if you want to harm us. Like, who you want to be the answer in Problem. Ha! If you don't really want to play with the life to your career, I will bury it in the same day. There's something I just had to say. Support my friends, support my friends, support my friends, my friends, they ain't having a good Okay.
got her all excited. <laughs> Listen, we only be talking about might shut down early in the night. So we get all excited. <laughs> no shade to our viewers because we love y'all. So I don't know how models is we come to the phone. So this is Carver Lady Radio. I am Mary J B. And I'm Kiki with an E. And it is Misha Miss Hotspot. We are in the building with the legendary Mr. L. Bernard Washington. Yes, yes, yes. And his lovely assistant. And his Asia. beautiful assistant, Miss Asia. Miss Asia. I I'm told like you I need her to get on the mic. Super excited right now. Get on the mic. Go just ahead, say girl. hi. Just say hi. Let me unmute it for me. Just bend over and say hey. Hey, everyone out there. Yes. Yes. See, she got a voice. I love it. <laughs> Yes, she has. Uh, okay, okay. Lord, I mean, hey, <laughs> I'm gonna put you in a corner before that the end of the night. Systems. Okay. So I have a couple uh, more questions about this photography. Okay. Especially for us plus size models. Yes. Okay. Because I feel like a lot of plus size models are getting the short end of the stick when it comes to photography. So what? Should a plus size model look for in a photographer? Like if they see their work, what is it that they can look for that might help them pick the perfect photographer for them? Diversity. Mm. Diversity. Because um, if you have someone and they are shooting specifically fitness models or just shooting um, size 10 and below mm -hmm. bikini models mm -hmm. that's not the photographer for you because mm -hmm. he's not going to appreciate the curves he's not going to light you right or try to accent what you have um and i have a lot of friends that's all they do but i have one brother's name is lee mcdowell look up the name lee mcdowell on uh, facebook and this brother um he brands himself as beauty with beauty in a curve there's beauty in a curve and this brother does some things with plus size women mm -hmm. that it, it, it's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. It's phenomenal. So, um, and somebody that's going to make you feel comfortable about yourself, um, no matter who you are, or what your shape, because you're more than some of your parts. Mm -hmm. And his work should reflect that. His conversations should reflect that. Uh, ask him a little bit about himself, study his past history. Um, that's about all I can say. Because um, the world is basically plus size. Remember, one of the first things I told you: the world's not flat, and women shouldn't be either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like I like that. Now I like that. <laughs> Lee McDowell, Hampton, Virginia. That's it. Like it. Yep, that's it. Yeah, brother Lee McDowell. He is. Um, you want to talk about shooting in a hot environment, Mexico? Hmm. 90, I can only imagine. 98 degrees outside. Mm. <laughs> he got him a suit. Mm. That's that wedding. Yeah. I already know. What'd My cousin got married in Jamaica in the middle of July. <clears throat> so what you do? Edit some under. You, you talking about sweat off their face? Like huh? I'm like, you edit the sweat off their face? Oh, no. They weren't sweating. I don't see nothing. They, they, live, they live in Texas. Oh, so they used to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because me. Yeah, Texas, you, you get used to that. I sweat. Heat. But really, the heat is all in your mind. Anyway, it's a mind thing. It yeah, really is. Once you get down there, you know, the Caribbean, yeah, yeah, you need plenty oh, of water. That, that, was, that was a hot thing. That's the mariachi. Yeah, they yeah, had a white leather. Look at there. Mm. They had a white leather. I mean, they were serious. Yeah, he knew yeah. it was going to be hot. So oh, them brothers, was, them brothers wasn't sweating at all. Oh, no, that's right. Oh. See, if y'all could see these pictures, I wish that we could. Let me see if I can. What's she going through, Emma? Yeah, she looking at your pictures. She's showing me your work. But yeah, you go through as a plus size girl, you know, look and see if somebody shot plus size, see if they're comfortable with mm -hmm. it. I mean, um, I've got a friend. She's a boudoir photographer. Um, she's over in uh, Bear, Delaware, and uh, Natalie Keita. And Natalie does something with all shapes and sizes of women. She mostly shoots plus size. Mm -hmm. And. Um, she man for boudoir i'm gonna learn a lot by following her conversing with her getting materials from her to study and that's why i'm pumped about the boudoir shoot because mm -hmm. there's some things i'm gonna get to do that i've learned from natalie and uh she is she's phenomenal so look it up natalie k-i-t-a mm -hmm. yeah. and uh yeah she is she's phenomenal so the, the main thing is about diversity if the photographer is open to 
dealing with and shooting different things, then he's probably going to be a good fit for you. Mm-hmm. You know, because we got some people that are outstanding artists and creatives, but as they're right, they won't deal with LGBTQ. They won't deal with plus size people. They won't deal with people that don't look like them. Mm-hmm. Any of that. And what they're doing is they're cutting off a money flow. Mm-hmm. Right. They're cutting off a networking flow. That's kind of like having a phone in your house and the line just goes to the outside. That's it. Room to room. You know, <laughs> that's, pretty, that's pretty much what right. it is in the, yeah. world, in the world today. That's pretty much what it is. So, you know, if they think that way, just turn and leave. Or they seem disgusted or agitated with dealing with you, mm-hmm. leave. Yeah. You yeah. know, go on and find somebody because too many people out there. Like if you get in some of the groups, what you have to also be careful of in some of these groups when the people put up new aspiring model just starting out. And you have some people sit back and watch because you got all the vultures want to come in then. Mm. And they want to try to play with you, get all these sexy poses. No, just do a shoot and see how it comes out and how things are. Don't be afraid to try. The first pictures are probably going to be bad. They're going to be good pictures, but they're going to be bad um, because you have to get comfortable. You don't know how to move yet. You don't know how to bend. And I don't care even if you're experienced like you guys are. The first few minutes of a photo shoot, mm-hmm. you're still a little stiff. And right. then all the good stuff starts coming later on. Right. And you know? boy, do you feel like you had a workout later? Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Especially in heels. And the other thing is, um, there was a person that I used to work with, and being that she's plus size, she's really good at shooting plus size mm-hmm. and very, very good at engaging people. Mm-hmm. So she was far better at it than I am. You know, me, I have a quirky sense of humor, so either you like me or you don't. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I've been learning through my wonderful assistant that, um, you know, sometimes I got to really that or take things from a different approach. Mm -hmm. And she's good with that. She's good with that. She'll give me a look from the side or she'll just come in and she'll engage Mm -hmm. and kind of run interference. And it works out. Right. It works out. So. That's you I'm have doing. to, and the thing is about um, you, uh, <laughs> is that your sense of humor, your sense of humor is is different. It is, but it's it's. It's not. It's not to it's the point where it's in there. It's the tone that comes out is not funny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you got you know, like you got to get past the tone and hear right, what you actually right. saying. Oh my gosh, what did he just say? Like, it, it takes you a moment. Like, like, hold up, did he just say that? Okay. Yes, like, so it's like, it, it takes you a moment like to get it, but he's so cool. And that's why I wanted to say that. Like, you have to get past his humor because if you really think about it, most artists, dope okay. artists, are quirky or they are different in Very some kind so. of way. Very so it's so. like, you have to get past your idea of what you think is supposed to be normal mm-hmm. when you go into these kind of self-employed, self-artistic kind of people or self-taught because it's you'll, you'll tap into a whole different level of artistry when you get over your own thought process of how someone should be, how they should act, how they should, how they should talk to you because as long as it's not disrespectful, right. let's be clear. I can get past it. And right. to me, I like your sense of humor. It's funny. Mm-hmm. I laugh. I joke. I, la- I look at Asia like, if you don't get him to shut the hell up. Like, <laughs> my sense of humor. I love it. I love it, though. We, me and her be having our little silence like, girl, he is crazy. But I swear, when you have your photo shoot with him, this is what you're going to do the whole time. You're going to be man. smiling. That works you're going to be laughing. And when you look at those pictures and you see how comfortable you are, it's a total different outcome on that picture. It's like if you get a picture where you're with somebody that just click, 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 and you haven't gotten a laugh in, you haven't even got a smile in with them, your, t- your posture and everything comes off so negative in the picture. Mm-hmm. But when you have somebody behind the lens that actually is engaging, actually makes you laugh, actually right. makes you feel you something. You can loosen up. It 
totally loosens your limbs and yeah, it comes you're comfortable. exactly and that picture is going to be 10 times better yeah. than what you think it would be if you your mind is just on okay i'm just coming for a picture i'm just going to stand there and it's so much more in modeling to me on that opposite end of the <laughs> that's why you, that's why you joke with people um kind of feel them out to see what their comfort zone is and inside that comfort zone you just want them to come out and show you them mm -hmm. because if you can get them to come out then yeah everything changes if mm -hmm. they have this perception that i'm gonna stand like this or saw somebody in a magazine like this then the image don't ever duplicate that image mm -hmm. that's kind of like um say you had roseanne Barr trying to go to a beauty beauty shop to say make me look like holly berry that Ish ain't happening. Right. So, you know, people be here in humor. And then he's like, <laughs> and, and, and then he's so straight face, too. You're like, I don't know what I'm saying, but he really didn't say that wrong, but it's what he, okay. No, it's the truth. Because right. you, you have to you have realistic expectations mm -hmm. because usually if your photographer says, hey, you know, let's try this then they see something in your form or in the way you do things just like we look at I me mean, you go at it on pictures because you like a certain picture and i think it's a beautiful picture because <laughs> i'm looking at you like, and the, and the thing you hurt my feelings i'm sitting there going through like 30 pictures i don't like it mm. we all feel that way <laughs> don't worry we all yeah. feel oh, that way she shows no mercy no mercy i have like in my clouds because i have two of them probably about 200 some pictures of mary she probably only like like 15 of them. Listen. Yeah. We I don't even I don't even click click no more. I just code I thank God for iPhone. I just hold it down and just let it do its thing. So she could just choose from that selection of verse like there you go. I don't get the angle that I want. I'm like, no, that's not what I was looking for. I don't right then. So God bless you, sir. Could you imagine Mary on the dating game going with the bachelor one, two, and three? All they go here the whole night at mm. <laughs> oh, idea. Uh -oh. I think with y'all. Nope. Uh oh. Nope. So I have a question. Back to what you were talking about with when you asked about the photographers that don't want to expand. As a photographer who's been in this business as long as you have, that's been doing it as long as you have, do you feel like those photographers are limiting themselves from growing as an artist in photography by not? Because to me, I feel like. To me, I feel like a great photographer is someone who can take a shot of anything and anybody. But that's also just my opinion as the person on the other side but of the camera. Some people have one certain things are good at photographs. Okay. Okay. Now we can pretty much take take different pictures and make them look good. Mm -hmm. But you have certain things that you know how to do. Okay. But uh, to address the first part of that question, if they don't want to expand, they're not going to get any farther. Mm -hmm. their, their network's going to be limited. Um, they may have a tight skill set, mm -hmm. but they're kind of holding it into themselves because mm -hmm. um, beauty is to be shared, you know. Um, Agree. Kind of like, you know, what you have inside you, no one will ever know about it. It'll never grow if you keep it hidden in mm -hmm. the shade. Okay. So uh, you go ahead. Yeah, they, they, they'll stifle themselves. They won't grow any farther. Um, now to learn other things it's scary sometimes right because you no matter how long you've been doing something you get a little intimidated by the photographers you see some things it's like dude dope or you mm. get some of these young female photographers out here that's probably why i quit for real because i'll be looking at some pictures like, but you can't, yeah, do, can't that. do that you can't do that because when someone like that at all <laughs> <laughs> someone comes after you as a as a vendor mm. okay and they're your client they like you and they like your particular style okay you know so it doesn't matter if this person has more awards and they're published or they're not published which i am but there's just a lot of stuff i never brag about or say anything about right you know um and so you have to go with that you can't there's seven billion people on this planet so some a lot of them are going to like your work and then a lot of them aren't going to like your own mama may not like your work this is true 
And she lying to you, baby. You good? Mm-hmm. You no, keep no, on practicing. I don't got a lot of money. My mama, my mama, my mama, damn, you ain't like me. My mama ain't even. She, she like, keep it real like that. So she would be telling me like Mary, nah, not that weird. That would not look right. Mm-mm. Take that one off. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, that's what she don't want. That's what she don't want. That's, that's different, you know. But with the dream, you know, most mothers are trying to like get uplift you. Right. She I'm, finds a very. My mother is a professional. I, that was my mother. Is, she's a professional butthole, so she finds a way to say it to you where it's uh, appropriate. Constructive criticism. Everybody needs that. It's way past constructive, but that'll work. Because <laughs> it definitely hurt. You'd be like, Damn. okay, yep. You know, right. well, if I take a picture, she don't like, she'd be like, so you might want to, maybe you should get some training. Go to school and see somebody professional that I'm do that for, help you out with it. <laughs> so you can get better at it. Okay, that's constructive. That's constructive. That's very constructive. <laughs> All right, go ahead with the points. You was, she turned you in the right direction. Yeah. Now go. Right. right. Go right. that way. But yeah. Oh, turn your car to the left. I've always wondered that. Mm-hmm. Just because I know that I've seen some photographers that let me. I've seen some that are that do specialize. Like I know there are some who specialize in strictly wedding photography. Right. They don't do nothing else. Some mm-hmm. only do shoot kids. But then, they, but those ones that limit themselves, like you were saying. Some only do models, but they only do a certain type, type of, model. of model. And the challenge is, like, um, shooting plus size women is a challenge. Mm-hmm. Only reason, mm-hmm. the only reason I say it's a challenge, is because you already have curves. And it's to get you to relax and just show the curves, because when you get <laughs> stiff and rigid, you just look like a big happy bowl of jello. Mm-hmm. You don't want that. Then you got girls that don't have any curves, and they're trying. They're bringing in, they're swinging, and they're moving, and they're bending, and it's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you I mean, people come to mind, and you know. It's, it's just, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I mean, I mean, not taking anything away from them. I mean, they're, they're animated, you know, yeah. but they right. literally look like they're. It looks rabbits, forced. Yeah. You know, so it's like. Uh, <laughs> Take a battle. <laughs> so, but uh, but they um, you want you want to tell them you know certain things turn this way this creates a curve you already got it mm-hmm. you don't have to put in the work you just go ahead you just relax I and just move and be something don't even worry about tucking it because you dress figure appropriately you the clothes you wear it's not like you're trying to wear your little sister's clothes yeah, well, you do and, but not everybody. But okay, everybody, but I see, what, I see what y'all wear, and when y'all wear it, y'all's outfits, like you, your outfits, you throw some stuff together. I've been like, damn, this girl need her own magazine, you know? <laughs> she need to go out. Well, thank you very much. No, I mean, so, she is a fashion designer, I you, she's a stylist. I ask you, have you engaged some of these younger women that are dealing with issues so far as issues of being? plus size and people talking about them, treating them any kind of kind of way, just doing like a one-on-one. I mean, if you want to get together sometime, I can find a team of photographers. And we can go around and set up something where we start shooting these young girls mm-hmm. and showing them that your beauty that you have inside is going to show on the outside. Now, I'd really like to do that. Yes. And if that anybody nice listens cool. to that this or if they yeah. listen to a replay. On the calendar now. Thank you, sir. Yeah, mm-hmm. contact you and uh, we can set it up. I mean, because it's something I've always wanted to do. Yeah, that's dope. I would love, I would love to have, have some type of participation in that yes. one. Yeah, because, I mean, as young people, they see it and they want to, um, they'll go and um, they'll see someone that's older that they think is successful and more established than them. And that'll help them walk through things and bear whatever burdens they have a little easier, make their load a little lighter, and they will have a little more confidence and courage when they have to deal with things because they're going to look at you and look at you and look at you and be thinking, oh, she can do it. I got this. Mm-hmm. And um, so it's 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 something simple. You know, that's what we do. Sometimes we do what we do outside the money. It's fun just to show somebody. I, I am more creative when I am doing a TFP shoot mm-hmm. for no pay. I mean, it's bad to say, but I am more creative then because now I get to play. I understand that, though. Yeah, I really I do. Because yeah. when you're getting paid, it's, uh, it's like what they want. They what got they an want. idea. Yeah. Like but when want. you get to do it for yeah, free. It's like, okay, I, this is, I have, this is my right. I'm doing I what I love this, to do. I need this. Mm-hmm. I can do what I want. Yeah. Right. 
and you have about something about, about photographers too. You know, there's a lot of photographers that won't shoot shoot full form and stuff. Mm-hmm. They either crop and they show a certain part or show things because yeah, you create a certain beauty when you show them shot tight in. Mm-hmm. It's that and the other, or it's harder for them to capture head to toe. I used to call them the Sears photographers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, you, now, you remember the glam shots? Yeah, photography, yeah. the glamour. Yeah. Sh- yeah, you can't I, knock what you I do. Can't. She got the pose though. She got the pose though. <laughs> that, that was the pose. That was the glamour shot pose. With that famous lighting to go across the middle of the so picture. Glamour shots like started the angles. Glamour shots started the angles. Look, look. <laughs> so true. That was it. That was I'm it. sorry, that was part me. Oh, I apologize. Nothing shots, against photographers that is. specialize in those because I've seen some very beautiful crop shots. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a photographer, there's a photographer for everyone. Now, um, something I found out is a gold mine, and I'm going to act on it, was I found out a certain part of the state um, they won't shoot because of their religious convictions in that part of the state. They won't engage LGBT couples. As far as shooting their engagements or anything like that, oh, I'm all over that. I well, there are. That. I mean, there. Are, unfortunately, there are a lot of business owners I have. When I started, well, then, then yeah, there are a lot of people that won't. But I, okay. My yeah. thing is, I said, be, I'm I'm diverse. I'm diverse because I look at it. It's a form of beauty. The image I'm going to create. Mm-hmm. So I don't care. I don't you even know, see that, how that's a that religious is, thing. But okay, that, never that mind. Is your, that is your choice. <laughs> well, that's I mean, it's considered religion because he's saying of their ceremonies and their weddings. So if you yeah. don't believe that man and man are supposed to be married or woman, or woman and woman are supposed to be married, yeah. then of course you don't want to participate in right. their ceremony. But to me, my beliefs shouldn't dictate my money exactly i know how to be professional and cut that off like right. what you do at your right. home is not interrupting my home and my belief right. in God. i'm not supporting so i'm not I'm gonna not... stop right you yeah. from your your love and your happiness but carbolinear is all about lgbtq but then love. again and back to the comfort thing though because just like we in front of the camera have to be comfortable if they're not comfortable shooting it they're not going to i wouldn't even if i was a part out. of that community i wouldn't even want you to shoot because well, I'm the picture wouldn't whole, even look good you're being unprofessional by them even knowing that you that's your but there's a whole culture of there's a whole culture of uh art of photographers down there that won't do it and uh, i'm mm-hmm. just like oh really I take head on down there to do it. Right. No, right. not a problem. Not a problem. I have no problem with it because, um, you know, you have your creative. Your job is to try to show people in the best light. You write with light. That's all you do. Mm-hmm. And so, the challenge is you got something different. So let me see what I can do with this. Let me see how I can light it. How I can make it look good. I can make it a little look a little different than anybody else has in a while. You know, and that's your. That's what you do. That's mm-hmm. pretty much your calling, you know. So you just jump on it and go for it, you know. So, anything else? <laughs> like, okay. and also, I want to add to the the money thing when it comes to um, what people spend for pictures. I feel for especially a wedding. I feel like. You should want to spend top dollar for quality work because here you paying for a venue that tomorrow you're not going to be in. You're paying for a cake that just got shared and ate with everybody. But here you got pictures that's going to last a lifetime. Mm-hmm. So why wouldn't you want them to be top quality? Mm-hmm. Well, that's, I mean, that's the thing. Sometimes it's just the budget doesn't allow. What but, but you put in it, but you put you, that's going to be like now, I have three on my so list. <laughs> That's why I'm top of the list. Though. I kept it even across the board. I didn't go do an expensive wedding and had cheap photography. No, I, I, I know I people who have done that. I, I feel like I, I feel like if we can't have a nice, uh, it's bizarre, nice, chunky in the pockets type of wedding, not too chunky, but you know, then we don't even get married. Like I feel like my photography budget should be about fabulous. equivalent to my dress budget. So if I spend about ten fifteen on my dress, I'm spending ten fifteen on my photographer. You know, you can find, you know you find a nice dress on a close out rack for about a hundred dollars. I'm just saying, I know people who I spent. I'm about to say ten fifteen twenty thousand dollars for. I'm not even spending three thousand for a dress. I probably won't even spend two thousand for a dress. I'll probably spend more for pictures, honestly, more than my dress. 
Maybe. And but my dress gonna look like a fucking million bucks. You can. It's very possible. But there are people that have done people that spend stupid money on their wedding. Because they still spend it for their photography. Well, they still because they, it's, they, it's, because they spend it on the DJ, people, the food, the alcohol. Like people feel like pictures, pictures can be done with cell phones, cell phones, cell phones. buying them little. You'll be mad. Exactly. Come anniversary time, you look for a lot of people because we are in the age where we've seen things progress. People used to just get those little those little disposable cameras and yep. sit away you stay with people and, and tell them to take a photo. That would still be fun. I would still do that. Exactly. But, but my thing is, is a lot of people, especially those who are around. in okay. middle class, they don't. They feel like. When they look, when they look back, they would rather have that memory of spending a lot, lot of money on a venue and all that stuff because they're showing the people who came mm-hmm. instead of those who you well, so you gonna show them also, you gonna so you know, I, I don't, I don't, I could be getting married outside in the park, okay, renting that for a couple hours for a hundred. But guess what? Quality pictures gonna make that look like exactly. Get me a, a dope photographer for a couple thousand, and I will be set. What is but a picture? Memories. A thousand words. A thousand. A thousand. Okay, it's a, it's a thousand That's words, or however many words you want to put. But what really is a picture? It's a captured moment of time. Mm-hmm. Okay, and Kodak moment. Mm-hmm. Thing now. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, it's been a while. So she I know. She I know. Got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got so it. we go. We and plus the other thing. I want to add this real quick. Photographers catch moments at weddings, mm-hmm. at ceremonies, mm-hmm. even office parties that y'all are have y'all are in the moment. We see things y'all don't see. Right. I love and those then, pictures. I love those pictures. Like, I didn't know they were. When this happened, those off guard pictures be everything. That's why they, you know, like I've yeah. always had a photographer, but it's always fun to have the little ones too. Little the little ones. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They'll catch you over here laughing with your 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 new your new mm-hmm. spouse, like, and you and nobody else is paying no attention to you. Right. But the photographer is there to pay attention to those moments. It could be your mom, your in laws, finally sitting at the table having a, a a nice moment. You know what I'm saying? It could be little things, your kids, your your children. Finally coming together and having fun in that moment. There's Ooh, that's so what they are there good. for. They are hired for those little moments. And you getting these little camcorders is not that. What? What? What's she I showing you? Sh- look at this. What's she showing? Oh, Picture yeah. her. But she caught a moment. Oh, I love that. What is that? It? Is that's so beautiful. Nice. Oh, is you oh. did that. Oh, I took that to church one day. Yeah. See the moment. Just sitting in church one day. You're so pretty. Yeah, I like that. Did you know he took it? No. See? <laughs> Just the Those moments. are the best moments. Yes. Yeah, you get, um. oh, real quick before we get off of here. See, everybody knows my name, but they don't know the name of the studio or the business. And that was, oh, yes. that, we was going to get me, to we that. Gonna make sure we got to that. But go ahead, since so right. you dived in, go ahead. Tell, go us, tell us all of your, your information, how we can get in contact with you, your ID, Facebook. Um, Instagram, I am at Fly Flash Rig. Um, the name of the business, which we're working on on the website when my beautiful other half gets back, is 18% gray studios.com. And gray, 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 like 50 shades of gray, but not as freaky. Um, you sure? He said not as not as freaky, man. <laughs> Come on now, <laughs> with the <Not> chain, <laughs> Summer, but not as. <laughs> You gotta read twelve. Oh, yeah, you got. Yeah, Mary got them handcuffs with a garage door open. She's nine to five with people. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, yeah, it's it's eighteen percent great studios, and uh, you can contact Asia Marie. That's my assistant on Facebook. If you need to book anything, any questions about anything, Asia with a Y. Yes, Asia with a Y. (laughs) Get right. Y A M A R E E. Um, that's also the face on my profile picture and my background banner. And, and uh, business card. Yes. <laughs> Get that right. All that. All that. All that. Well, let me let me tell you about Asia. Let me tell you about Asia. Um, when I would sit there and I would come up with an idea, I said something about putting a notebook there. Um, what she was doing 
and she was jotting stuff down and she was right there on the laptop. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting there and I said, well, I need to do a wedding package proposal and do this, that, and the other. Ding, check my email. Brochure with all my packages right there. Price, <laughs> detail. I'm like, damn. And um, she did that on my senior portrait photo brochure. She did that on the other stuff. She designed a business card, designed my new logo. I didn't know she was as dope as she was in Adobe software. So I'm thinking, man, you just saved me thousands of dollars, you know, because, um, mm -hmm. yeah, big See? time, big time. I mean, she uh, she has everything covered. So now the only thing I get to do is concentrate on shooting, which I need to I need to shoot more. So I'm going to start doing more TFP shoots because like, like some of my colleagues, I don't have the time to shoot every day like they do. So I'm going to change that and try to get into shooting something almost every day or every other day, even at time off. I may get a call or post something at night on Instagram or on Facebook that says, hey, anybody out for the next couple of hours, 10, 11 o'clock at night, let's go downtown. <laughs> you want to come out? We're going to be calling. Hey, hey, did you see his post? What you, you, you want to give me? You want PJs in the dark? We're going to shoot you up. What color you need me to wear? We on our way. What wig you want? What you want? Exactly. exactly. I'm all for it. I have the, light, I have the lighting to do it because everything's just lighting. It's photography is just writing with light. Um, so I have everything. So it's a bunch of new stuff I'm not afraid to try. I want to try. So remember that, you know, the concepts there. Just if, if you see it out there, just contact me and just meet me wherever. And uh, we we'll go off. You know, you can have the first five images. It's TFB shoot. You can have the first five images, you know, whatever you pay. Then you after that, you, you charge a fee, correct? After that, you got a fee. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of like standing on the corner with a camera and a trench coat. Like, you straight, you straight. I got you. Got you, got you, got you, you know. So, uh. <laughs> <laughs> in the trench coat so I, have I, just saw that whole I have a question about TFP. Okay. okay. So when it comes to TFP shoots. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Behave. I, have, I actually have two questions. For one, my first question is, is it appropriate for a model to ask a photographer? No. For a TFP shoot. No. Let's be clear on that. If the photographer puts out there that he's doing a TFP shoot, let me explain the flow of this. If he puts it out there, then he's contacting you. Mm -hmm. So he's offering you his services at no cost. Mm -hmm. Now you get the images in exchange for him having them. And I'm going to explain that whole thing about the image in a second, about who actually owns those images. Um, if you contact him, expect the price list. Right. Okay. Unless, of course, he's willing to work with you, unless he's put it out there and you're contacting him about the TFP shoot up, but you reach out right. there and expect that there to be a cost. Now, as far as ownership of images, as soon as that shutter goes click, he owns it. Mm -hmm. um, even when he gives you the image, he still owns it. Mm -hmm. Now, unless it's contracted and he has a limited liability release in there. I mean, a limited release form in there that says you have specific limited use of this image for this, then you have that. Um, there's a dance group here I shoot with occasionally. And when I turn all the images over, I have a form I fill out and I send it to her. And it's attached to all those images. This is property of you know what my whole business name was and her name. So it kind of protects both of us. She can use it for whatever. Somebody gets one of her images used for advertising. She can go after them, suit the crap out of them. You know, but um, as far as the TFP shoot, he contacts you. So for it's for free, time for print. Okay, um, you give him some of your time. You get the front. You get the product or the print. Okay, digital or printed. Usually be digital, and, or if you contact him, you're paying. Right. Right. So there's things to expect, like a sitting fee, um, which is usually non-refundable. That can be anywhere depending on who you're shooting with. 50 bucks all the way up to almost a thousand dollars depending on who you shoot with mm -hmm. um so you know that hope that answered that question yes because so. i i really i i don't want to say tacky but i just feel like it's inappropriate for a model to ask a photographer for tfp because mm -hmm. i feel like it is your work this mm -hmm. is your job right. so that's just like your your boss calling you saying mm -hmm. i need you to come in and work and you're not getting paid Right, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying you would be offended. Like, mm -hmm. don't call and my you ain't going. Bull crap and and you ain't going. So that's why I wanted to be clear on that because a lot. 
notification right now. Because a lot of models I see do that all the time on Facebook. And it I'm like, why do you no, don't do that. Don't do that. A model starts understanding that there's certain rules and parameters, just like there's certain rules and parameters to being a professional photographer. Mm -hmm. Everybody that has a camera is not a photographer. Baby. Um, Can you say that one more time? Say it. Repeat that. Rewind. Everyone that has a camera is not a photographer. Yeah. Go on. You're welcome. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So you've got, you you get with these guys or these ladies and they respect their craft. Mm-hmm. So they're just asking you to respect it. Now I said, if they do put it out there that I need such and such, and they have certain people to call to practice lighting or work on stuff with. Mm-hmm. And that's why you see some of these girls out here, they have all these phenomenal images and they haven't paid for them, mm-hmm. you know? And then there's a lot of people, you know, try to build a port up or build a rapport with people. They'll pull them in and they'll offer them these shoots for free. And they come up with some dope images, mm-hmm. you know? And if somebody's doing that and they're a good photographer, utilize their skill. Mm-hmm. Because it not it helps build helps them with their practice. Plus, it it's a word of mouth networking, and it gets you some really nice images. Right. You know. So my second question. <clears throat> That's your third question. Well, no, that was my first. What? Oh, you be you be asking them multi level questions. Yeah, I do. You are gonna make somebody a good wife? <laughs> Y'all hear that out there? <laughs> I like that we found that out. You know what I'm saying? So listen, okay. So my my other portion of my question is when it comes applications, there's certain income requirements. They have to be at least seven figures in height. Stay tuned. You have have to be over six foot five. Mm. Oh shoot! I got it. Little tingle of my spine when he says six foot five, baby. Listen, six two, six three, but six five. Yeah, to be able to bench press and bust, baby. Listen, I need muscle at least. I need you to be able to pick a thigh up or something like like, that. No, no, I don't need you to pick a thigh up. You gotta hold Hold it up. Oh, on the back on the back of the card, I was gonna put that thing where I can have age over one shoulder and uh, light stand on it. Okay, wait, you seen that. (laughs) I did. <laughs> he's, he's so funny. Like, I swear to God, I hate. the image just popped in my head again. He's sticking her up. Like, he, he's hilarious. I just saw that whole, whole vision. Yeah. So, okay. So, for TFP, <laughs> my question is every day, though? Every day? He picks you up every day. You deal with this every day. God bless you, child. I hate y'all. It's worth it. <laughs> what did you say? It's worth it. It is. Listen, be clear. Confirmation. <laughs> be clear. Go, oh, let me get the. Let wait, me, wait. We gotta, go ahead. It is extremely worth it. Mm. She had to put that on live. Listen, we, had, right. to, we had to get sound for Listen, that one. Listen, but he's taking, ladies. Don't, don't get it twisted. So. Don't get it twisted, honey. Okay. He's mine. Mm. You may have never had him, okay? <laughs> <laughs> ah! So, my question for TFP. Okay, okay, okay. So when it comes to TFP, because I've done some TFP shoots and the images I did not like. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I was I, I I just didn't even let them touch my timeline. So my question is with TFP, should <laughs> should there be like a um should a model ask for? Yeah, I'm serious. I don't let them. Be serious. Okay. I don't. I don't accept them. I'll be like, no, I don't like. I tell them I don't like that. I don't like that. You know, I'm very blunt. So, um, or I'll be like, can you edit that again? Or you know, and I, I know I'm not. I shouldn't because it's TFP. But I feel like we, we working together. I'm giving you my time. I mean, you took an image of me, but you sent up some gift coupons in New York Institute of Photography. Okay, go ahead. So, <laughs> my question is, TFP, when it comes to the image itself, you said that they are, they're the ones that own the rights to that image. Yes, Should you have, like, since if you've never worked with that photographer before, should you like have some kind of agreement when it comes to imaging? Yes. Um. Okay. What is that called? Like, do I just say I need an agreement or a conversation? We need to talk a little bit on y'all the Y'all have an agreement. Y'all sit and y'all talk. Then you're going to sign a model release with more pe- most people. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which says that, you know, that 
all these are my images i own them um now if you are you are doing a shoot for implied dude you do not want something to be used a certain way you know put it in writing because bottom line if it's not writing i know y'all watch judge judy mm -hmm. yeah and yeah if it's not in writing it won't stick Right. So then so, it would be smart as a model to have some type of model contract to go yeah. with that photographer and say, okay, yes, sir, I'll sign protects, this. But it protects both of you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have, you understand what's what. So that person doesn't come back later and say, they well, don't want to sign it, walk. Right. right. That's on either end. Right. That's mm -hmm. on either end. Right. I mean, right. a, sim right. a simple definitely. model release frees up a lot of headaches. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the difference between the pro and the person that just picks up the camera to take all these pictures because mm -hmm. you have to understand that because a picture can get you in a lot of trouble oh mm -hmm. yes or it can ruin your career mm -hmm. and something i forgot to say to these girls that are out here trying to model um, when i say keep your clothes on the reason i say keep your clothes on is because no one is going to take you seriously if there's all these nude photos of you all over mm -hmm. the place <clears throat> message um those family wholesome um magazines and ads that you see, you ain't gonna get it. No. Nobody's gonna call you, nobody's gonna wanna be involved because you know what happened, image should protect. You know, that whole um that white bread picket fence, perfect house with the dog, the kids in the car, that that's a that's a real persona with people. They wanna mm -hmm. preserve that image, you know, they don't want their freakiness and all of that. If that's what you wanna do, is gonna be short lived and you're gonna be limited in what you can go, where you can do and you be in a four corner, a four walled building, picking up your money off the floor at a duffel bag mm -hmm. at the end of every night. So hey, that's where you want to go. <laughs> Let's see. Unfortunately, this generation, they ain't, I don't even think they're thinking that far into it because they're so into the likes. They're not even really focused so much on the image. You know, I saw something disturbing today. Just I noticed, kind of left the center, but it's along the same line. Kind of disturbing. I was watching the talk, and they said that they were interviewing people, and they were like, "Yeah, I take." This girl said I take 700 selfies a day. First of all, I don't even know how that's, that's her, possible. That her but you got one girl who's like 100 and something selfies. And I believe it because if you look at some people's timeline, all it is is selfies. So, yeah, they probably are just sitting there all day. But Mary they really don't care thousand, about the outcome yeah. of the image. Right we only Stop see it. three. <laughs> but my, I feel like they're not, these people now, they, they're, they're, they don't care about the out image, the outcome of the image they're just there for the likes so unfortunately that's gonna probably be a well that's society thing. that's society that's society that's where you've got the models out yeah. everybody's trying to get in front of a camera yeah. and Somebody then some just want 15 minutes of fame well, they want to be found on social media, media and get the cardi b thing they get they in front of a camera and get from behind them selfies because we got models out here submitting selfies <laughs> as well, this is true. Model that, picks. This that, is very true. That, on on their on their comp card. That at, at that. You want to be on Facebook so much? I mean, you be friends with photographers. Yeah. You might find you. They trying to be an Instagram model. And they would go right. Yes. You might run across one. I'm gonna need you to get a little more professional. Well, yourself. if you want to be desperate, call down to the CCAD and see if some of them student photographers feel like taking some headshots and right. something. It's not that hard. You said, yeah, well, you got a, you a good night. Get from a solid shot. piece of something yeah. and just get somebody with a good night on can and camera and just something. But you start the, one thing, the one thing I'll ask everyone to do is don't ever look at a photographer's work and say, you must have a really nice camera. Mm -mm. You know, that is like, really? You know, it's not the camera, it's the person behind the camera. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so it's it's just respect their work, um, respect their time, mm -hmm. and they'll be respectful of yours. And if the photographer can't respect you and respect your time and things like that, don't work with them. Um, my biggest problem is because um, with the photography and then my job I do is the time constraints mm -hmm. where I have time to work on stuff. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I've Got some stuff I have to complete and try to do other stuff, and I'm getting better about that because I'm cutting back and sitting aside time to try to get things done. Mm -hmm. And between these two, yeah. I'll, I'll be sitting there looking at my phone, and this pair of eyeballs pops up. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what you doing? 
How are you? <laughs> Thanks, sir. I don't want to see you if I'm stalking you. Uh, uh, did you get such and such completed yet? I don't want to bother you. Thank you. Have a good night. Jesus, Jesus. Bye. <laughs> I gotta be nice with it, though, but I want you to know I'm serious. I feel like I'm stalking your ass. I need you to get this done. Mm-hmm. Give me some angry eyeballs, mm-hmm. too. You'd be like... Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. it's all love. That's how you know that I, I really care about you. You know? When I talk to you that way. Yeah, but brother, <laughs> brother be getting out of the shower, eyeballs pop up on the phone. I feel violated. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I cannot. She didn't know. Not at all. I did not know. Did the song play in your head when you seen the eyeballs pop up? Mm, somebody's watching me. <laughs> 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 exactly. <laughs> so we're going to play in this song. We're going to be back. I can't with y'all. I just <laughs> because you know it did. That's all I'm saying. Wanna know who the best is? Check this out. Two deep breaths ingested. Let the marijuana smoke seep out. No belt buckle, no necklace, but my J's on and my tat showing. You know it's knocking if sack going. I say what I want and I do what I feel. I'm independent. I don't gotta ask. No, you ain't here to what you about to learn today. I earned what I learned to say. So anybody who wants a concern can vague. Can forget it. Listen, this is my turn to blaze. I only work for a certain way. They was thinking I would show up just so I could flow tough. Giving shirts for pack. They was tripping because I'm lit. Like the switcher that I'm getting. Now let the bass drop until it burns away. That's all you can hit that. Big dog status on the track when I pass, let me get that. You don't know what niggas sick with the wordplay, and I give it to the city on wax when I flip that. So fuck these haters and the fake ass ballers in the lease so flats. I'ma hustle till I double what I spend. That's facts, and I got my city written on my back. Wanna know who the best is? Check this out. Two deep breaths ingested. Let the marijuana so feed out. No belt buckle, no neck flares, but my days on and my tax. Showing you know it's knocking it back going. I say what I want, I do what I feel, I'm independent. I don't gotta ask no one. No lethal. When I put a pen to a loose leaf, rapping about me and how I live is a music. But keep it to a minimal, cause all of your subliminals can never be literal. It's my syllable snoopy. Similar to literature given the movies. The bigger the picture, the bigger you figure the proof be. I'm just figuring niggas lyrically abusing. That trap sound whack. How is it confusing? I'm sicker than most. Niggas are jokes, the mothers are bigger than literate, and niggas should know. It's undeniable and different. And it's bigger than dope Dismissing women Wishing I was spending riches for dope I wanna be one of the better ones Let the cover in seven Go to the back of the Z7 One well, for the Texas The swagger is swagger The rappers that never won I stand ten toes down I'll never run Wanna know who the best is Check this out Two deep breaths ingested Let the marijuana soak seep out No belt buckle No neck flares But my J's on And my tax showing You know it's knocking It's that going I say what I want I do what I feel I'm independent I don't gotta ask no one now let me think of a way to add to this Known to be intoxicated, faded, and accurate With syllables that I'm attacking with So whenever you act as if I haven't been adequate Fact is as bad as you rappers get You can imagine it's still in the car crashing it Laughing about it after I stumble out of the accident Fuck a cop, my hitty is what I smack him with He's in the car with me tied up in the back of it Sobriety? This is for the hip-hop scene with no variety We have to know the rioty Bigger than what you try to be You try Z and you'll get disintegrated tonight for free Now, how am I isn't what you would like to be? I seem to be the image of what you niggas recite to me What's the real reason they wanted to Pick a fight with me, I burn their ass alive on the mic if ever do I compete. Wanna know who the best is? Check this out. Two deep breaths ingested, let the marijuana smoke seep out. No belt buckle, no neck flares, but my J's on and my tax showing. You know it's knocking, it's that going. I say what I want, I do what I feel, I'm independent. I don't gotta ask no one. No one. Hey, 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 I ain't gotta ask no one. No one. No not nada. That was mixed kid. I like Check that. Check this out. That's what the song is called. I like it. I like it a lot. So this is Carly the Radio. I am Mary J B. And I'm Kiki with an E. And as mentioned this hot spot, we are in the building discussing photography with the legendary, the talented Mr. L. Bernard Washington and his lovely assistant Asia. Yes, yes, yes. Don't do your eyebrows. Yeah, don't look don't look like that. <laughs> I can't with him. Do it again. 
I'm like, I need to watch the show. So I can see what he does. Uh huh. It's eyebrow lifting one at a time. You can isolate one eyebrow. I can't do that. I'm sure all. he gave you the brow. Oh, before. I've met the I've met the guy a few times that is good for that eyebrow lift. I called him a big ass horse the first time I I uh, met him, and he just kind of raised his hat and looked at me. The eyebrow went up, and I said, "Oh, shit, you, are you speaking of Mr. Johnson?" I'm talking about Mr. Johnson. <sighs> I don't need me anyway. He married. His Who? wife might not like me. Who? The Rock. Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson. Oh, Dwayne Johnson. Yes. I yeah. see. I, yeah, I watched him when he was wearing little tighties in the ring yeah. with the eyebrow. Doing that little, 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 Y'all so nasty. Listen, this is the radio. I can't. So I have another question for because I want to know: What is your most awkwardest experience with a model? I need you to never say awkwardest again. Awkward. Awkwardest. Awkward. 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 <laughs> what is the most awkward experience? I can say awkwardest because I'm Mary <laughs> JB. I make up my own damn words. I awkwardest. People. I love my people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, backwards. Hmm, let me see. Look, he got it in his phone. He's froze. No, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't really had mm-hmm. an awkward moment. So, look, to speak. Asia, know what happened, Asia? <laughs> you got to tell. Who share? Tell us. He don't Let remember. He don't recall. He no, because I think that I know what she's talking about. I, uh, I give us the juice. Uh-oh. No, I don't want to slander another individual. We only know names. We don't have to know names. Okay. That's, I mean, if, if the hit dog holler, it is what it is. We're not going to name <laughs> no names. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I love you. I know that's how people. <laughs> I'm close to you. I'm close. <laughs> Okay, just say it. <laughs> what? No, we don't know the names. That's all. Yes. All got to worry about out she there. If a hit dog holler, I can't. I just, <laughs> I, I, honestly, I can say I haven't really had a, an awkward moment. No more trips to Georgia for you for at least about three to six months. <laughs> I, I came back saying I reckon. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> Go ahead, Mr. Washington. <laughs> the reason, I reckon. The, the, so. reason, the reason would no, I say it's no awkward because you know my personality kind of like flip things around. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't have to adjust and fit yeah. right in. Exactly. Have you ever had a model try to hit on you? But Miss Asia in the building? Nah, before Asia. Before Asia, uh, yes. Okay. See? Before Asia, yes. Oh, yeah. They yeah. know not to do um, that. I know that's right. 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 She come in. We've got to make it clear. Second. She assisted, but she's a special assistant. Listen. Clear. We've got to make it clear, though, because these defenders nowadays have no coof. No coof. Well, Asia just coming like, <clears throat> I'll take that for you. Thank you. You had a whole, <laughs> wedding, you had a whole wedding dress on yeah. and the suit with the rings, and they still don't give a damn. Well, that's that fine line thing. You kind of like... Um, you know how to shut things down. I mean, there's some playing, some things within your windows. Um, you really have to watch it. And honestly, I've been guilty of that back and forth because we get to playing things back and forth. Mm-hmm. But you have to draw a line to, that you don't cross. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, because it can be a little dangerous and it will come back to haunt you. You may right. not. You may think it's not going to, but it will. Mm-hmm. It will come back to haunt you. Right. So I have another question. <laughs> so when it comes to um photo shoots and should you know your concept before you go into a shoot it makes it easier uh, makes it better to do um yes you should it would move you to have your concept down pat now you can do stuff on the fly And it'll still come out good most times, but if your concept is down pat, then you have to work better. And that's what I like about you. You already know what you want before you come in. <laughs> I don't have to do. Ever. I don't have to do anything but take a picture. Yeah, we gotta. We, yeah, we gotta. Yeah, we gotta have a map. You know, going down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. A photo shoot take long as it is. Because I feel like me, I'm blowing in like tumbleweed. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> like, no, my girl's got it. She do. She can do, bro. She blow. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm 
comes three. Mix your shot like, where you want me? Like, where am I? What am I doing? Where are you doing? What are you doing? Come here like you a two-tier like, door lock back in the office. Y'all come over here, please. I'm here. Yo, I'm here. <laughs> Wait, your mom life has ruined me. You ruined my whole time frame. I'm like, I Because I wanted to say, because I get a lot of, um, I see a lot of requests for models, but they don't give enough information. Mm-hmm. And they be like just three or four outfits, and then, okay. Yeah, but where are we shooting? Right. What time of the day is know. it? All of those details. Are we going to the middle of the farm? Are we going to be downtown next to some water? I'm wearing a farm and I'm wearing a gown. Right. I mean, like, it could come off good if you were a good photographer. I mean, we was in the boxing <laughs> ring with some gowns on. So, it could. <laughs> yeah, but that's so, the point. I had that concept. Takes the bag with the gown. I like that. Exactly. It, that's what I'm saying. I had that concept and I told him prior. True. So, he was prepared. Yeah, he was on paper, like, Why is that? Exactly. Like, you don't want to come in an outfit and I don't have the proper tools mm-hmm. to be able to pull off your look that you want. And right. that's what I'm saying about professional. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To me, a professional photographer is going to give you those details so you know, or at least give you an image of what they're looking for that mm-hmm. they can play off of. Right. An outfit that you can play off of. Um, and a lot of times, because I get people who inbox me say, I got a photo shoot that I got to do and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to wear. That's me. And then I'll be like, well, what's your concept? What are you looking for? What is the know. outcome that you want of these photo- of these photos? I don't like, know. I didn't need some new pictures. Because <laughs> <laughs> they really Look, like that. Right, like, <laughs> like, the pictures in front of the building. Wow. And, and, and to me, like, that's that was my first photo shoot. That's <laughs> and it scares me when I see those kind of shoots because I think about if you go, if you meet up with a photographer that you never work with, and he actually wants you to be nude, or if he wants you to be topless, or he wa- like, uh-uh. I want to know before I go into this what right. you looking for, photographer. Like, right. I ain't getting naked. Yeah. That ain't gonna happen. Yeah, no. boy, there's a, there's this forums you can go into, and it's good to join groups and just you don't have to really interact a lot, mm-hmm. but just. Sit back and read mm-hmm. and watch and go mm-hmm. back to the old posts. Um, and you'll see they'll tell, they'll usually tell on themselves, or people will let you know stuff about them. Mm-hmm. And then you can decide from there. You know what, one of my, my biggest pet peeves is about some of those groups is when they share sometimes how a model did this or did that. And it's a more negative. And it's like, I don't want to work with you. Like, why you dog her like that? Like, all she did was ask a question. Like, <laughs> like she's stupid because she asked you if, you know what I'm saying, if you travel. Like, that's a normal question. Like, but my post did not ask for traveling. It asked for, oh, I'm like, yeah. huh? It could be maybe next time. I mean, I could be asking these questions so I can set up something for next time. This might not be the one that I want, but if you travel, maybe I can make a connection with you later on down the line to do something with you. Mm-hmm. So that's the only thing about some of those groups, because I feel like sometimes it'd be flooded with some groups. Some of them are all positive. I love that they have rules, like you only post a po- post positive feedback mm-hmm. and information right. to help other models cast right. things but then you have those ones that share inbox conversations with photographers and models and those kind of things unless it's a warning like they robbing you right <laughs> or harming people right. or doing something Your crazy interaction yeah. shouldn't be shared a lot of the pro models. groups though um we won't allow models in because mm-hmm. we have things we talk about and as far as things in industry and different techniques and stuff, um, we don't want them to know about or we'll discuss cost of stuff and things mm-hmm. like that. We don't want them to know about. Mm-hmm. Or we just have some people that are just difficult to work with. Mm-hmm. And it's across the board. And the last thing you want to do is give somebody a point of evidence to sue you for libel 
because they screenshotted what you said about right. that. Mm-hmm. Even, no matter what the truth is, oh, yeah. you just describe yeah. it in the de- in the detail in a group. That's true. Because so, I'm in some photography beast. groups and they ain't letting everybody yeah. in. Mm-hmm. And I thank God I was in that photography mm-hmm. class and I'm in there and I know to keep my mind, keep it real cute, real mute and just be looking like, oh, okay, that's so how you do that. Okay. That's the thing. A lot of people feel like social media is supposed to be for everything. Mm-mm. And it's not. Sometimes you to to really make it, especially since this industry, and I mean entertainment, uh, modeling, photography, all of that is so cliquish. And yeah. it's very, very tight knit and word spreads fast. So you want to be as professional as you can be on, especially when you're interacting with people in these groups. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like your own personal page, play all you want. But when you do the the pro groups and you're oh, really trying to advertise I'm, I'm, something, I'm going to show y'all the level of trust. This is her phone, right? Oh, That means you're just putting it down good, baby. We'll see. For <laughs> real, I'm just saying. Uh, what? Yeah. That that's bottom line with that is. Baby, that, that right now. Baby, listen. Man, see, when you do it right, you get whatever you want. Every, Access to everything. Right. Literally. Literally. Listen. 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 And you came back with exactly what he asked for, no extras. Baby, listen. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, don't no man just give a woman yeah, I heard a that is trust. card? <clears throat> that is trust. Like an old picture. She was standing beside me. I was a, I was a trainer in Bally's a long time. Oh, ago. okay. Ain't that the Yeah, that's him. Oh. Let me see. I'm oh, see. back in the day day. Oh, Dwayne Johnson. Oh, I need to see that. I'll see. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> I see you. You said you were a trainer, Nice man, I remember. I got to show y'all. Look at Mr. Washington. <laughs> you didn't got thicker though. Oh, I really? Your arms got big. Thicker. Really? No, I mean, really? like, yeah, you got more <laughs> solid. Like, you. You, yeah, you're more of a beefcake like now. A there, beef you're like cake. a beef jerky. You yeah. know? Yeah. What you just said? You, you, you improved. I'm just I saying. In the picture. Beef <laughs> jerky. <laughs> you know, I can't. Thing, you know, right, jerky right. is. But then you are young. You know You are young. You young. Both of them. She just called me a Slim Jim. <laughs> See, no, you did that. I said jerky. Well, I guess, which one do you prefer? <laughs> Look, you went from a slim gym to a monster gym. Okay? Like you I said not- beef I said he's a beefcake now. Yeah. And I back then he's more beef jerky. <laughs> I like you better with no hair on your face. All right. All right. You know what I'm Same. just saying. Unless your woman might like it, you know what I'm saying? A little no, tickle, 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 tickle. No, she's like, either man. way, whatever he wanna do. <laughs> Baby, you want to smooth? I take it however you feel. I had to pose for. Aw. See, 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 the backdrop was a little cheap. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we live and we learn. He's a baby. Aw. <laughs> Look at Snake Rick right there. Look, you see that slick? That see. slick. So cute. Let me see. Uh-oh. He didn't have not a curl hey. nowhere. Bang is on point. Yeah. Look at you. They're calm down. It ain't even a comb over. It's a comb down. I can't. Your mama was Give like, the phone yes, back. calm down and left the Listen, the they calmed Listen. it down. That's a calm down. down. That's, a, that's, what, that's how we used to have to show Shoot. drippage back in the day. That's oh, how you had to show that's drippage. That's how you showed the hang time. Yeah. You had to show the hang time back in the day like that. <laughs> <laughs> and my baby got hair. You see all that hair? That is so cute. So listen, it's specialty time. It is. See, that's where the hair come from. Oh, well, that's yeah. the aunts and uncles and the grandparents. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's that's old school. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Old school. That picture looked delicate. Really delicate. Gotta hold it with care. Like, he probably had a couple creases in it. Hold it with your finger. Arm it out. See, see. 
<laughs> Lord, have mercy. That's a serious black and white picture. That ain't serious. <laughs> you talk about stuff implied. That's implied. That's implied, see. I like that. I about to play with the chocolate. Listen. Yeah I, yeah, I like that. That's one light unedited straight out of camera. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Now, see, a nudity picture like that for me is more artistic. Exactly. Because you're not really showing. I can showing do everything. that. I can do that. But when you just want me to be holding my boobs like this, but I'm bent over to do the whole. Kim Kardashian front cover page shot. Like, I ain't, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I really like that. Yeah, I like that pose. Mm -hmm. I got a tattoo right there. It would look real nice with. I can't with y'all. Well, so, specialty what? time. Listen. There's one in the, in the center. I'm going to go to specialty time. So, I just wanted to talk to y'all about these eyelashes that I found. Yeah, I seen them over there. Let's talk about that. I'm you got them? Or they no, I, okay. I, they, um, Ooh, I got them from Amazon no, for less right? than $5. That they were like $2.49. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I thought you about, to get this, you about to get this pack back with two left lashes. <laughs> so, so, so less. And we gonna sleep tomorrow for the weekend. <laughs> They are reusable as well. Oh, so you can get a multiple use out of them as long as you you're. you're and you found them where? On Amazon for two forty nine. And you didn't send the link to nobody because that's just how you felt. Because we because you love us, right? We your sisters. Exactly. Or better, you could have just got like three of them and just like I could have got you two fifty. I could have gave you two fifty. We could have cash apped you two fifty, my okay. G. Well, just cash at me two fifty, and I'll oh, okay. She probably got no. She probably got like. The hundred packs at home. Well, she don't know she about to get two dollars and fifty cents too. I wanted to try it first. I don't like buying a bunch of them because if I don't like it, then I'm like, eh, you know. So I wanted to try them first and then go from there. But they're really thick. They're three D, as like they you can see. The wind. They have layers. Mm. I'm gonna show y'all on the camera once they give them back. You know. What I'm <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we'll give them back. I'm I'm so, cash apping. Like, listen. So this is them. Cash they're three D. Two packs. And they're from Amazon. They do come from China. Just make letting y'all know. But it took a, it took about two weeks. I got them in the mail in two weeks. Usually it takes like thirty days, but I got them in two weeks. So that's that's not bad. That's a quick turnaround time. Yeah, from China. From China. Because that's Look, the problem. Let me hurry and put that order in. Because you know somebody pissing them off over there. Oh so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need them to shut it down, Paris and stuff. It comes in five in a pack. So for that cheap of a price, and they're really soft. That's just, to get across the board. <laughs> oh I just wanted y'all to know they're really soft. Okay, they're super soft. I'm not going to entertain their asses. So I I just wanted y'all to see they're 3D, and I'm going to try them. Um, and I'm gonna post the picture on um our our pages so y'all can see them on. Um, and I'll let y'all know if they were easy to apply because sometimes the strips be so thick that they look too bulky when you put them in your eyes. On your eyes. Um, so we'll see how this goes. If they come out good, then maybe listen, I'll let y'all know and I'll be buying some more again from China. I'll share the link um when I when I post my picture as well. So that's all I wanted to say, baby. And I hope y'all ready because kids have already started school. Um, ladies and gentlemen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so my baby don't start until after the holiday. Really? Like all like shit. Before. She's oh, still chilling. Really? Yeah. She laughing at everybody yeah, right that's now. Good girl <laughs> for that's that good girl for it. But when did she get out though? Um, when did she get out? She got out in June. Like the week before her birthday. Week up, yeah, the week before her birthday. No. My goddaughter started today. It was in May. Third grade. 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 Let's go. Okay. Third grade. I'm going to Vance's this weekend. <laughs> did she sound excited to like this? Yeah. She did. Look how she was cheesing though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pass the mic. Go I heard, ahead. I heard that, uh, that release of stress. Go I ahead. Enter that double did. digit. I can't. Ooh. Oh, oh that's yeah. why. Okay. What about oh, that water uh, though? Nice. I'm not going to talk. Well, one, have you been drinking your water today? I sure have. Mr. Bernard, how much water do you be drinking? You talking about a phone? Like, uh, like uh, you go work. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say, you see that melanin right there? 
Oh, that is. He said his age, but he don't look it. True. I, I should. I mean, um, I knew this really, but I have to make sure. Uh, Jenna, I see no uh, bottom. Jenna, Jenna Foy. She, oh, she used to model on a lot of stuff. Okay. African okay. superstar. Not my name. African superstar. And that's body art, right? Yeah. Body. That's uh, airbrush. Oh, but back to the water. Somewhere I've been wanting to go. I don't really. I've never really heard whether it was a nice place or not, but Newport Aquarium in Cincinnati. It is I nice. It really is. Well, they have free kid admission, y'all. When? Through August 31st. That's dope. Oh, and I'm going to Cincinnati. And it's only paying and it, I mean, it is just it one kid fun. per paying a dollar. It's actually in Kentucky, but it's right across the bridge. It's not that far away in Kentucky. But that's okay, because you can stop and pop it those on the way yep, back. Yep, Sunday through Friday, one kid Age two to twelve gets in free after four p.m. That saves you a lot of money with the purchase of a full priced adult. Hey, the Newport Aquarium is dope. I went with my goddaughter. It was dope. It was dope. It's huge, but it's dope. We might have to make a special trip. And then, yeah, y'all might do that. We went when it was cold, so I'm it's warm now, so I'm sure it's way more fun. But you got to take time and get out and do stuff too, instead of just sitting around and keep. This is a good idea. My daughter's birthday. Yeah, Her birthday yeah, is on the no, third. Stuff. You gotta get out. I let her play hooky. I don't know. No, doubt it. Bad idea. But yeah, so check that out through August thirty first. I mean, school started. Just started. I can't let her play hooky. You know? All right, y'all got any more photography questions? Anything you need to know or ask or? Mm. No, Lord, they have mm. they have it. We harmony. will watch. They we will once, once they get done with their specialty time. Go ahead. Meaning she will. Right. Yep. I got it brewing right now. Mm-hmm. I used to have to provide my own security. <laughs> Let me see. Lord have mercy. Okay, black belt. Also, what well, is going on in the city here? Um, it's always good to check out different cultures. Mm-hmm. And nothing better than one of these festivals that we be having, mm-hmm. and the Greek festival is coming up. Yes. And I'm sorry, I mean, this is kind of cliche, but I think about a good gyro when I think about the Greek festival. Mm. I'm just saying. It's okay. So I'm going to, you know, check out their arts and just check out everything. Because in this picture that I see right here, it's some guys dancing in like skirts and, mm-hmm. <laughs> and vests. <laughs> it's called a kilt. But we'll let that go. No, that's Irish. That's Irish. Oh. I, Ireland. Well, that's where it is. And something. it's this Greek festival. So it's like I want to go. So I mean, know. And I do Greek. actually want to try. <laughs> Don't it make you think about it? A Greek gyro. And then, and then they go correct you. Euro. Euro. Right. It's not even. I was saying about equipment. This was taken with an entry level DSLR. Is Mr. Bernard yes. cutting up my he specialty is. time? Is his he he is. photos that y'all can see out there? They're one. really, really yeah. nice, though. Let her do her specialty time. We're listening to her specialty time, but she didn't know what the difference between a kilt and the. <laughs> I didn't well, no, kilt. I said it. I said Thank kilt. Thank you. I said kilt. Or what? Tell me what it is. I don't know what it is. Okay. It looks like, like a tutu dot on it. A, a man <laughs> tutu. See, but a kill. They 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 run in commando open air. Them dudes. Exactly. Got, they got on stockings. Them dudes got on drawers and socks. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really funny picture, but hey, Mary, go to the Greek festival. You might see it firsthand. See. Also, you know the kids are back in school, so um, kids might you might want to get your kid. I know I want to get mine. I don't know if I'm gonna go through this. I will check out the prices and check out what um, services they have they offer for kids but we got it's called best brains learning center mm. and it's in um actually over 100 locations nationwide it says um you can do a free assessment for the kid um it will be by a licensed teacher it's a one four ratio mm. and math english and other subjects is what they would tutor in and it's an after school enrichment program for ages four to 15 and it's designed to enhance your child's overall academic development so you want to get a head start on your kid. You know, you got a, one of them kids, like I do. New school year, go ahead and get a head start, get a handle on it before the school progresses on and, you know, things might not be how you want it to be. So you can eat, it's at 2760 Festival Lane, Dublin, Ohio, 43017 is the address of the main branch. Um, the email is columbus at bestbrains.com. And the number, if you want to give them a call, is um, 614 614- Four two seven zero 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 zero, and they're also on social media, um, Facebook and Twitter. 
And also for the little um, superheroes and princesses that idolize those characters, they have a, what is called a Sunday Fun Day Princesses and Superheroes Breakfast. And the last one I had, I had mentioned some time ago, it was kind of pricey. This one is not bad. Um, they got tickets starting from $7. And like this is $7 is a child's <laughs> breakfast at 11 a.m. and seating. And eight dollars for adults, or you can get like the package twenty four dollars. You buy four breakfasts for twenty four dollars, and that's and like I said, it starts at eleven a.m. Mm-hmm. And that is dress up as your favorite prince, princess, or superhero, and just go have breakfast with your favorite character. I'm trying to see exactly where it's at. It's not even really saying, but I got it from KidsLink.com. So if you go to KidsLink.com. Um, put the, the fun Sunday Funday Princess and Superheroes Breakfast probably in like the search bar and it should come up. It's also on Facebook and Twitter. So if you go to one of them social media and search, I'm sure it'll come up. But that's what I, all I got for right now. So what you got, Misha? What's going on in the city? So this weekend, what's going on in the city is the Columbus Black International Film Festival. So tickets are still on sale. I hope everyone will be joining. Those sisters this weekend, this is going to be a dope, dope event. And real quick. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. You're fine. I have to excuse myself from the show, you guys, because the person I have to pick up from the airport has landed. Oh, yeah. well, go catch so, me. Love y'all, and I will see y'all. Be safe. Yeah, love you, know. you too. So, yes, see Columbus y'all. Black International Film Festival is this weekend. Um, they just announced today, I think is when I saw it. Yes, um, the uh, gentleman that winner of in brother to brother it's a movie that came out in 2004 uh the winner of the special jury prize sundance uh is going to be there his name is uh he's a famous poet fame poet let's see sorry brother to brother the winner of the special jury prize of sundance a young artist crosses paths with an elderly man who discovers his famed harlem renaissance poet richard Bryant, uh bruce nugent so rodney evans the person that directed that movie is going to be there this weekend, along with many other film artists, producers, actors. Everyone's going to be there. Make sure you get your tickets. They have various workshops this weekend. You can go watch some films, independent films. They got some dope movies. I actually want to make sure I get there at least one day this weekend to check that out. Um, also, make sure that you guys are signing up and getting ready for Curve Linear's Tatted Up Henna and Hennessy Party. This is going to be August 31st um, from 8 to 12. This will be at WTMA Studios. This is going to be at Suite 302, correct? 304? 302. 302? The room? Yes. Yeah, 302. Okay. I'm just making sure I get it right. It's the um, it's the 1st of September. Yeah, I'm getting to that. Um, What? the What's the 1st? It's on a Saturday, right? The, the, the henna. Yes. No. That's the 31st. I see the 31st here. Oh, my bad. Saturday Friday. is the car wash. My Saturday bad. is the car Friday. wash. Friday. Don't mess me up. Yet. I'm sorry. August 31st. August 31st. Is- Friday is the tat- henna and Hennessy party. Come get you some tattoos, some henna, a little Hennessy. Um, what's the, her, sorry, $3 to get in, $3 shots. BYOB is welcome. But please come responsibly because we will they will put you out okay we'll put you out baby let's send in a heartbeat so uh we are having our part two curvy linear car wash by our with our curvy beauties on saturday september the 1st from 11 a.m to 3 p.m this will be at the auto zone at 457 agra road in gahanna ohio so last time we had the auto zone fifth this time it's in gahanna so come on now don't be scared come get your car washed we was getting them real spiffy last time so i'm just saying it's gonna be a good weekend that weekend i was scrubbing them cars down yes i put it at work i couldn't even walk by the end of the day Uh, listen Yes, I'm not this with him right now. I'm going to completely keep moving. Um, also, Curve Linear Radio is doing another photo shoot. So, Naughty by Nature shoot. If you guys are interested, make sure you go to our page. We have posted it. September 9th um, is the shoot, but you want to make sure you lock your spot in. That's going to be on a Sunday, September 9th from 4 to 6 p.m. Make sure you get your spot locked in. There are limited spots. Um, and they're going quick, so make sure you get that in. We have another photo shoot, don't we? Yes. 
in November. In November. The concept I might be changing. So. Okay, so we'll but keep just you know, updated on that. Yeah, don't, don't, don't miss it. She going to be there at the September one. Yeah, I'm going to be September. Be there. We gonna be September. This one's going to be new for me. I've always wanted to do a boudoir shoot. We're just changing up the scenery of where we're going. But I just have to... Off. I'm, I'm mentally getting myself prepared for it because I didn't think I was ready for it physically, but I'm going to work that out. We're going to work that out. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm trying to tap into her. I don't like how he just said, mm hmm. So I'm going to look at Asia from here on. <laughs> I don't like how he did You're going to be in the woods. It's going to be a Bigfoot boot washer. Yes. Okay. You're going to be the Bigfoot. I'm going to be the Bigfoot. <laughs> So y'all make sure y'all get signed up for that. This is gonna be real interesting. So and this is our photographer for yes. the shoot. So yes. you know, make sure you go follow him on Instagram, uh, Facebook. You're not on Twitter, are you? Are you on Twitter? Do you have do we do we, do we got Twitter yet? No. I'll Soon. go back on Twitter to be announced uh, later on in life. Yeah, what Agent Orange was tweeting. I understand that. I, I do. I understand that. So, uh, but yeah, make sure you follow him, see his work, and you. I what is the IG again? Fly at Fly Flash Rig. Um, also, uh, the site will be up and running in about two weeks. That's eighteen percent Gray Studios. Eighteen percent Gray Studios and at Fly Flash Rig. Or on Facebook, it's El Bernard El Washington. Space Bernard Space Washington. Yes. Yes, that's it, El Bernard Washington. And we'll be sure to share all of his uh, pages on our page as well, so you guys can hit the link real easily and find him and can follow I throw him. Throw something in real quick. Sure. Stuff. Um, guys, I'm also the photographer for uh, NAMI, which is N A M I. That's the National Alliance on Mental Illness. We got a big mm-hmm. problem in this world with mental illness, and so you know mm-hmm. someone that suffers with anxiety, depression, something else, and they have a lot of amazing resources that can help you out. So, anyone listening to this, if you know of someone that's going through anything, or sometimes they need resources and they can't go through normal channels and they're not getting results or the answers they want, you know, you can call people over at NAMI. They're nationwide. Uh, we have NAMI Franklin County and we have NAMI Ohio. Just look at them up or go online. That's N A M I, NAMI. And they can help you out with all that stuff. And this might be a little too late for you, but September we've got uh, the Rock Day Conference coming up in Detroit. A uh, buddy of mine, Sean Lee, is throwing it. Mm-hmm. And it's a big photography conference. It's mm-hmm. geared toward beginners, um, advanced. And pros. Detroit ain't that far away. That's only about a week. Hey, we got it right here. Right? It's September. Detroit is only three hours. Back. Yeah, September twenty hours. twenty to the twenty second. Um. Right now, it's uh, it's 199 for the three days of intense training mm. and photo workshops, mm. and uh, something good we throw it every year. And you can look up Sean Lee on uh, Facebook also. I Sean still Lee got my camera. I just need a memory come card. On. Come on, hey, memory cards ain't nothing but a thing. Eight dollars in Microsoft mm-hmm. class ten card work for your camera. Sean Lee S E A N R S H a w Sean Lee Studios Photography Lee Studios. Yes, it's on. Uh, he's over in Southfield, Michigan, um, mm-hmm. suburb of Detroit. Brother's doing a lot of amazing things. So uh, be somebody good for y'all to network with, because um, the people that he knows and the things that I'm um, part of a group called MAP, Multicultural Advocates for Professional Photography. We love photographers as a catch line, and uh, that's under Sean and Michael Sal. And they're doing a lot of things across the board, you know, helping feed the homeless, um, helping people with disabilities as far as taking pictures. That's what I was telling you about working with the young ladies. Mm-hmm. They're doing a special thing for kids with cancers, which they're going to do a um, going to do a superhero shoot for each of these kids. Aww. And then they're going to present them the images by the end of the yes. three days. And that's going to be done by Miller's Lab, which is one of the largest uh, professional photography uh, print labs in the world. They yeah. do super quality work, really high end stuff. And uh, Sean does a lot of that. His buddy Hodge Fleming is going to be there. And Hodge, if you ever hear uh, rebrand, um, like he's the one that did rebrand Detroit and all that. The world's largest selfie with Sean and Hodge and all that. Um, so these guys, I know, man, the network of photographers I know is tight. You know, these guys do some amazing thing because we have to think outside the box. We're not just photographers, we're people too. So we got to take the abilities and talents that God gave us and share it with other things. It's not about bragging. It's about taking the time to show 
people what you're doing so maybe it'll motivate them mm -hmm. and you know kind of like you know what you're doing is actually motivating and influence a lot of people because mm -hmm. there's some things you do that you brought me kind of out of a shell i started to get into so uh don't 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 tear up on me and just stay over there <laughs> <laughs> I, just, no, I didn't mean to cut into your no 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 you're all good you are all good you all good you all good i'm glad you actually gave the information about uh nami because i do have a uh, couple of friends that deal with anxiety and depression. So yes, yes that yeah. is yeah, you really as well as myself. So yeah, I yeah, definitely NAMI really has going amazing next. resources. They have amazing resources, and through NAMI, you have a lot of things that deal with. Um, you have uh, Mac also, which is uh, Multicultural Advocates for Cultural Competence, which deals with healthcare issues and everything across all across the whole diverse board. All cultures, all ethnicities. Mm -hmm. So all these organizations are tied in together. Okay. You know? So you know, you look them up. Um, we have amazing resources in the city, and people really, you know, if you don't know, you can't use it. Mm -hmm. You know, closed mouth doesn't get fed. This is true. So if you ask, Ohio you find out. Is big on resources, mm -hmm. and I'm, mm -hmm. I wish that people would quit sleeping. Like, there's not things that can help you, right? Because they're all you got to do is type it in, and something will pop pop up for you for help yeah see yeah. it's easier now because all you have to do is type it in mm -hmm. you know to whereas 20 years ago you actually you didn't if you didn't know where to go who to go to you mm -hmm. were literally lost like i don't know what yeah, to do where to go we've but. got things with mental illness um drug trafficking human mm -hmm. trafficking and all that stuff mm -hmm. and all these people are tied together to involved you got the woman that runs rahab's hideaway you've got our hub for all these organizations jill frost mm -hmm. and um you can look jill up online and um she pretty much does the networking and brings everybody together on that and uh rochelle martin is the director of nami and uh you can look up rochelle martin so it's something really good to know because, like I said, I can't stress enough. Man, well, this is a big problem. It comes in it all is. forms. It really does. Go for it, you know. Um, I don't know. We'll talk later. We might be able to do something together, kind of like what they're trying to do in Detroit on some things and get something going down here. Yes. How I, Especially I'm, with these young girls. Yeah. Absolutely. Man. All you got to do is, just, you know, I'm just an inbox away, and I will set a date. That's all I need. <laughs> man, all I got to do is see them eyeballs <laughs> pop up on my phone. Okay. Listen. This is why it's just one of us. Right. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because both of us, you'd be like, all right, I'm about to block the both of y'all. No, nah, <laughs> no. Nah, too much. I'm good. I got, extra, I got extra memory cards, so I'll, I'll hook you up. Hey. 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 I love it. I love it. Networking. Bring that was all I had, though. Well, other than. The uh, bring a bring my bring camera? Bring your camera to the boot wash. Oh, okay. You about to learn some things, girl. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay. All right. Listen. Um, that's all I have. Other than you know, letting everybody know because I got to, I got to support because you, my, my, boo, my booze is in it. So make sure y'all get y'all tickets for the Art of Courage Fashion Week so y'all can see these lovely ladies walk the stage as well as our lovely Miss Bree will yes. be on the stage as well as uh, other of our uh, model sisters. I will not be gracing the stage. I'll be sitting down watching. But right, your yeah. girl is curvy. I am curvilinear. We're gonna have our own set as well, and that's on October over the 11th so if you like my style please 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 come so you can see i have a positive message and i promise you you're not going to regret it please come it's only 15 dollars. october the 11th um i'll post the link again on my page so y'all can see it and get your tickets so y'all can find the location and all that details because it's going to be phenomenal are you walking in no, no i'm not walking not. in this one She's not walking in this one. I know. But, and I'm also walking for Curvature. <laughs> Curvature Expo. So anxious um, this year, 916 in Indiana. So I'm very excited about this. It's a big show. Down yeah, y'all need to come see Mary Walk. She got that sexy swag thing going on. She just got, man. I'm yeah, she got a mean walk. Mm -hmm. oh, thank God. Mm. Y'all making me blush right now. Mary, Mary, Mary got, Mary got, she got, she got swag that swing. She, ooh. <laughs> listen, listen. You gotta like behave that. yourself. I, I can't with him, Mr. Bernard. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> 
Brad, Brad be walking like she's trying to find a rich seven figure husband. Baby, listen, That's what I'm she trying to She's looking for that six five. I'm trying to. But listen. he's laying in the parking lot in the jet. I'm trying to have him find me because I'm so tired of looking. I ain't looking no more. He better knock on my door. Hey, hey, There we go. So, um, I really appreciate you, Mr. Benoit. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate the shout out. I appreciate the time. Um, I'm looking forward to really getting involved with the whole plus size community. Yes, yes. I can't yes. wait to get in front of your camera. Yes, yes. Uh, nine nine baby, we about to be in front of his camera. I want yes. to no, I want to put together a team of photographers to do this on a regular basis. I mean, so it's not just one. Yeah, mm-hmm. but we all got to come together and get along with each other and mm-hmm. quit like. Phew, man. That's why it's, it's clickish. This. This industry is so clear. I respect a lot of people's work, but there's some of them I just want to punch in their throat every time I see them. But I respect their work. Yeah. 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 Asia wants to punch certain people in the throat, too, but that's it. Well, you know. And then you got the sprinkled in illusions of photographers. Baby. (laughs) Some frauds. I was trying to be nice about it. I was going to say something else, but I thought I'd be PC with it. I'm trying to behave, y'all. I'm trying to change a little bit see, see. Hey. it is so I just wanted Mr. Bernard's here so we can share the light of um, for these models out here that are really trying to expand themselves Yes. Um, the importance of having high quality professional work mm-hmm. and if you want that you must invest in yourself and not just go for these cheaper end photographers you Keep really need on. to and keep your clothes on, okay? Because not all the time you need to be naked. And I love that yeah. you send that message, especially yeah. coming from a man. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Because you don't hear it often. Sure and they really do believe that And there's not enough photographer men, men period, but men that are photographers saying, keep your clothes on. You have a to love and a to lay. A to lay has a short shelf life. But to love is eternal. Yeah, yeah, mm. Boom. Listen, and you can't lay down your whole life. So you're dead anyway. And you can lay down as all of it. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. I ain't get to misbehave, y'all. So yeah, you know, we've been, we've been away. For I've been a we've been away for a while, so I had to warm it back up. I was trying to be nice, but I got y'all next week. I promise. I'll be. Don't tuned. look at me like I'll be, that. I'll be tuned and watching. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So I want to thank Miss Asia as well. Yes, Beautiful. just to make me look at all purred and stuff and. Okay. Okay. Come next to your man. You gotta come say. You gotta come and at least say bye. Now you said hello to the people. You gotta say bye. So you gotta say goodbye to the people. Whichever mic you feel like talking. If you want to talk into his mic, we don't mind. Oh. We gotta turn the camera off first for that. Yeah, good night. Stay safe out there. All right. Yeah, so we're going to conclude with Mr. Chill Cortez, Big Fines. Yeah. Yes. Ow. Baby, listen. <laughs> yeah. This one is for the big girls. Yeah, that's right. I said it. For the big girls. Wherever you at, I need y'all to represent right now. Let's go. Go big fur, go big fur, 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 go. Go big girl, see it, do your thing. Make them cheeks wobble, wobble. Let them titties hang. Skinny bitches hating, don't be ashamed. They mad cause they stick shape. They so lame. Same shit they can do, you can do it better. Hit the flow, bounce that ass, show them and tell them. Dress to impress, talking walk like a lady, smelling good, turn their heads, but she weighing 280. Lame said he won't fuck, that dude crazy, but he's still thinking about you. He too shady. I ain't scared, yeah, I'm slim with it and what? Let me hook my pole up to that dump truck. Go big fur, go big fur, go. 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 Okay, she's super thick, but she keep it toned up. 
And she don't play that petty shit, baby, grown up. While all the weak bitches hate her homies, really want to date a big fine. Point out if you should know one. Now tell her, go deeper, go deeper, go. Tell her, go deeper, go deeper, go. Let me see you, go deeper, 